the good shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He loves oh, black coffee. Oh, <laughs> that's so smooth. Having tea on top of Mount Caldera in Bali. Oh, you have a cover? Laura's right here. <laughs> She's hiding inside her hoodie. Oh, because it's, it's raining. raining. It's raining a little bit. Okay. Yeah, Mount Agung is uh, all the way behind us. That's uh, 3,500 meters above sea level. We are about, what, 1,000? Mm -hmm. We're about 1,000 meters above sea level right now. So, pretty high. The, uh, the, the trek up here was a little difficult because the, uh, the, the road here was really steep. It took us about an hour to get up. It will take us about an hour to get down, but we uh we got up really early. We woke up at 2 a.m. this morning, got picked up at 3 a.m. from our villa. It took about an hour to get here, but it's totally worth it. Really refreshing hike up the mountain, and just a great way to, to, to soak in the Bali experience and really, yeah, but anyways, we're gonna have breakfast up here. Um, our tour guide just brought us egg sandwiches, a, uh, a platter of fruit, we got some banana, um, and then we have some tea and coffee. So, cheers, good morning to all. Tastes like bread and eggs. <laughs> good morning. Hi. Hi, Daniela. Hey, good morning. It's a little overcast right now. Um, I'm sure you can tell, but it's pretty gray up here. We didn't really get a chance to see like uh, a spectacle of a sunrise. Nonetheless, this is still a really breathtaking view to be surrounded by mountains. Uh, just in front of me is Mount Batur. Uh, to my left is Mount Abung, and then right behind it is Mount Agung. Mount Agung is the tallest one here, um, and they just go, uh, they go down from there. So there's Mount Abung, and that is Mount Agung. Down here in the lake are some fish farms. They, uh, they farm tilapia here, as you can see them all along the shore, and they sell it to the neighboring restaurants right here. But he's just waiting for some food. <laughs> he said, so no, we can't take it. <laughs> Dang, he like turned his neck real quick. <laughs> Alright, well that was super cool. Uh, we're, we're making our way down the mountain now. Um, we're gonna we're gonna meet the captain of a boat and we're gonna take a boat back to uh, our driver and then head to grab some kopi luwak which is the uh, uh, the coffee that is uh, from the poo poo and we got these sticks we got these uh this is bamboo right we got some bamboo sticks to help us go down it's a little windy uh, starting to starting to sprinkle just a little bit uh, try walking sideways yeah yeah. I could actually film going down, I couldn't coming up because it was really dark. But Laura's got my stick now, so it looks like she's skiing down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier for me now. A yeah. Bit. Yeah, it's uh it's sprinkling a little bit, so the soil is a little wet. Um there are uh, loose rocks, so Leaves. it's slightly slippery. Um and I think I think we would have taken this path up, right? We would have? Yeah, I think this would be yeah. Oh really? Yeah. yeah really so so oh, we took a different cool. route coming up. It was a paved road, yeah. and we we ended up taking that road because um, I guess heavy wind and it was a little dangerous to come up this path initially. But yeah, we're taking right. it back and heading to the boat. <laughs> so things took a more adventurous twist here. Yeah. So we took the original path that we weren't supposed to, that we were supposed to take this morning, but it was too wet. 
So we took it down. So you can see we came all the way through here to these trees. And we came down to this and, we, and here's like a small little harbor. Like the most makeshift harbor ever. Now we're on a boat. What lake is this? Caldera Lake? Lake Batur. Oh, lake Batur. Oh, lake Batur. Oh. So we're on Lake Batur and we're just gonna head to the coffee plantation to try some Luwak coffee. We're walking back to our driver right now and we're going through, uh, I think it's considered a vineyard of squash, if that's the thing. Yeah, this is just falling on the ground. We were originally supposed to come through this way to start the tour, but because it was really windy, we didn't. So, yeah, we're getting this nice preview as we walk out. Babe, the spider, babe. No. <laughs> because the coffee beans, when they come out from the pool, they not uh, Arabica. Arabica. Yeah, and the season to harvest the coffee, we have uh, one time a year. Yeah, cacao seed. And this is uh, mango uh, mangosteen. Mangosteen. Yeah, mangosteen. We use also the skin of the mangosteen to make it taste more like purple color. Yeah, we need to dry and then grind it to make it powder. This is the good shit. <laughs> <laughs> Regular tree. Oh, okay. This is after the roasting. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it? There it is. Oh wow, it is easy. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty easy. And this yeah. is what they're roasted. Uh, this is a regular one. Wow. Same coffee tree from Arabic. And this one. So this around. What's the technique? <laughs> so you have to do this until it turns wow. that color. How long does it take to roast it? Uh, Thirty to forty minutes. Yeah. This. Mm. Oh. So we're now at a coffee plantation which is perfect because I need coffee right now. We've been up since like 2 a.m. and I'm like starting to wind down a little bit but um, as a wrap up to our tour we're doing a coffee tour at a coffee plantation called Santi. She just took us through uh, the path where we're sitting right now where they have some coffee trees um, as well as other plants like turmeric, ginger, pandan which they use to blend into some of their drinks here and uh, she showed us where they roast the beans and some of the, uh, the, the luwa coffee so it's like chunks of poo with the coffee beans in it and what they do is they, uh, they boil it in hot water and filter them out um, wash them and then peel the beans out of its shell and then that's what they use to produce the coffee um, just behind me is where they harvest it so the coffee plants are behind here and that's where the wild luwaks are and so each morning they go out and they scoop up the, the fresh poop uh, and they bring it here to dry out and uh, clean up to make the coffee but we're gonna do our tasting now we got uh, I think 12 different drinks to try coffee and then the variations using the plants that they have here so let's check it out Lemongrass tea, ginger tea, food. we're gonna all have to be like, where's the rest? I know, <laughs> this is blowing out of it. <laughs> where's coffee and tea? Yeah. If you want tea. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We have uh, vanilla, mm, this uh, mocha coffee. Oh, cacao, oh, that chocolate. sounds good. That looks, that looks. This one's life changing. Yeah, that's great. Bali coconut coffee yeah. with just regular milk. Probably. Oh, I yeah. like that That's coconut what we're all like. taste. Good. Tastes like those. Uh, oh, like another bee landed. He packs uh, a sh. Uh, the bee. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's we okay. just feel it's bad okay. for them. Yeah, hopefully they'll survive. There you go. Uh, He's good. There's another uh, one in here. Yeah. <laughs> the bees are in love with the juice. And this is the. Oh yeah. What? Yeah, this is the you can see this one. That's Cappuccino. That's what with 60% cacao. Oh, okay. Oh, that's like dark, dark. Alright, ginger. Okay. Thank you. 
<laughs> your leak, I love it. So our chocolate this tasting has arrived. This is the dark chocolate, is it 100% right? Yeah, yeah 100%. it's so bitter. Ugh. It's chocolate, yeah. yeah. I don't want to know, I want more of that. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. It's, it's not good bad. though, it's good. It's not bad. It tastes like 100% cocoa. Yep. Get a tiny piece here. The good shit has Okay, you know arrived. what? Let's move yeah. this and you can... This is still black coffee, no sugar, no milk. All right, Lori's about to drink some shit. <laughs> <laughs> some shit. Some good shit. Some good shit. This is my first time having coffee luwak. <laughs> it's all of our first time. Yeah. So, it just smells like regular coffee. Let's try it. It was hot. Mm, it's smooth. Way more smooth than this one. This one's very bitter. Right. And this is just nice. My turn to try this. Okay, I know I know of a mong okay, mongoose yeah. makes sense. Okay. Mm. It's more like a lemur. Yeah, a lemur, yeah, like a lemur and a mongoose. Oh. He loves oh, black coffee. That's so smooth. There's no acidity. Man, I think he I might need my own. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I would uh, convert myself back to coffee just for this. <laughs> yeah. Now that's some good shit, yeah. Yeah, We've now hopped over to the shop where they sell all of the coffee and the teas as well as the chocolates. One really cool thing about this place is that um, the chocolate is vegan. So they use uh, coconut sugar and cocoa butter and no milk. So she was saying that like in really hot temperatures, the chocolate doesn't melt, bec melt because they don't use milk, which is really neat. Um, and then uh, the coffees that we tried have soy cream in it. Uh, so no milks at all. So this is definitely a, a vegan friendly spot for those who are interested in trying something like this uh, Once again, this place is called Asanti. I'll put a link in the description to this place as well as the tour that we booked uh, Which was a part of the hike that we did earlier today, but I think we're probably gonna pick something up and then head back to our villa to chill I think we'll end the vlog here <laughs> Laura's just behind me getting really excited about buying something to take back with us uh, so we'll end the vlog here if you're new to our channel make sure to subscribe let us know what you thought about this in the comments and we'll see you later bye